Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott and I'm here at Garrity RV Super Centers in Junction City, Oregon. Today to show you a fantastic trailer, a trailer I've, I've sold for years, I absolutely love them. This is called a Lance. And Lance is a very special product because they're a small independent company that makes outstanding quality products. A lot of times when you look at ultralights or lightweight rigs, you find that the quality is more entry level or is not necessarily as high a quality as some of your high-end coaches. Lance brings things to the market that not even the high-end coaches have. I'm going to show it to you right now. Let's take a look inside. Now really, looking in a Lance, there is so much to talk about. I'm just going to highlight some of the key features. This is called a 1995. This is a really reasonable trailer in length. One of the smaller trailers you can buy that has a full queen walk around bed. And I want to mention, most trailers have a smaller queen bed. This is a 60 by 80 residential size bed. So you can use your own bedding and tall guys and people like that can enjoy it. This also has a slide out and for a, a small trailer, quite often they'll have a rather shallow slide out and a rather small seating area. This is a deep slide and it's got a huge uh, seating area. It's a wraparound seating area that also makes into a very large bed. So this will absolutely sleep four full size adults very comfortably. Floor plan wise, just a few things to note. It has an awesome television up here that articulates around so you can see it from everywhere in the coach. And this TV will work on 12 volt power, not just 110. So you can run it when you're dry camping and you can watch it with just off your batteries. That's fantastic. They have a large refrigerator freezer. This is fantastic too. Got excellent uh, resources for cooling. Has a full size oven. This is a 22 inch deep oven. This has a nice stainless steel upgrade package, hood, microwave, and all that stuff. It's got a great counter with a, a really large deep sink. And want to point out on this model too that it has a fantastic storage area in the corner here. Now, a lot of trailers this size just don't really have a lot of hanging storage or shelving space, but this one's got a lot. Okay, I want to talk about the construction in this just a little bit because it's quite unique. Of course, we see we've got the solid cabinet doors. This is all solid lumber, but what most people don't realize is that all of the superstructures in this coach are made out of quarter inch ply, and this is CNC routed. Contrast that to a regular cabinet where they take wood styles and they put them in a form and they either staple or screw them together. This is all cut out of a single piece of plywood. And every part of the construction in this trailer is like that. You can see there's no screws or staples at all. It's all solid. Every part of it, this part over here, all of these interior wall pieces. If you've ever been in a trailer and you looked at a non-load bearing wall in the center of the trailer, like a bathroom enclosure, that's always eighth inch veneer stretched across a few very thin studs, usually one by ones. Look at this quarter inch ply. Everything in this trailer is super well constructed. Look at this, look at this drawer. Quarter inch ply, dovetail construction. Very, very strong. So you don't have to worry about a lance wearing out or getting squeaks or rattles or just being sloppy inside. They're extremely well built. Painstakingly crafted. Look in the bathroom here. This has, even though it's a small trailer, it has a really nice bathroom enclosure, enclosed shower with a skylight so tall guys can use it. Has a porcelain toilet, has a nice medicine cabinet here. And again, you see that single piece quarter ply routed material. The CNC routers create these solid, solid structures. They're fantastic. So that's great. Now, the other thing about this is that the way that it's constructed, most trailers use aluminum framing for their sidewalls, but they still have wood roof trusses, wood floor joists, and wood structural materials. Sometimes a chipboard or a strand board type material. This is a solid core bonded roof. This roof up here, it's all one piece. Now the beauty of that is it's very, very strong. And also, if for some reason you should ever get a water leak, if you don't maintain your seals, that sometimes leads to a water leak. Well, there's no place anywhere in here for water to be. The water can't go in and run around in your roof structure looking for a low point. It's gonna be very, very isolated if you ever do it. Of course, you can, you can avoid all that by inspecting your roof seals, a thing that we do for our customers annually for free, no charge at all. The floor is solid core too. If we look up here in the living room, or in the bedroom rather, I want to point out 
We have nice, big, open nightstands. We've got USB chargers and 12 volt outlets and 110 outlets all by the bed. So if you have a CPAP machine or you want to plug in your phone by your bed, you can do that. Also, very, very unusual on the Lance, you got a front window. Most trailers don't have a front window. It's, it's nice. It really lets in a lot of light and makes the trailer a lot more pleasant place to be. If you look up, you'll see that this has a fantastic vent fan. This is already installed for you and it takes all the moist air out of the trailer. It's a wonderful feature. I have it in my rig and I use mine all the time. Another thing, because we have a larger bed, we have a great deal of storage. And when we go outside, I'm gonna show you something really special about that storage too. So inside the Lance, if I can just be brief, it's extremely high quality. There isn't really anybody that builds a trailer exactly like a Lance. And there's a lot more to this we haven't covered. In the interest of time, I want you to see some of these high points, but I'd love to show you this stuff in person. Okay, let's go take a look outside. Now, one of the unusual things about a Lance is it's a true Four Seasons trailer. When we talk about Four Seasons, what I'm thinking about is, is it going to freeze if I want to use it in freezing weather? Or if I want to go skiing or hunting or something like that, this Lance has dual pane glass and all of the plumbing, including the waste valves and all of that stuff, are completely enclosed and heated. So if your furnace is on in this trailer, you don't have to worry about freezing. It's a fantastic product for that reason alone. Also, as you look around, it's a very good looking rig. We have the, we have the, uh, the frameless windows, they're gorgeous to look at, they're nice dark tint. Also, you can see overhead here, this has a new kind of awning. Most trailers have an awning, and, and quite frankly, they're mostly power now. It's very popular to have a power awning. But the awnings today mostly come out this way, where there's a big arm that's kind of in the way where, you're, where you might want to walk through. This one has arms that go out this way, so you don't have anything hanging down where your head's going to be when you walk by. It really opens things up. Now this is what I wanted to show you about this extra outside storage. Look, look at that. That's a fantastic feature. I've got accessible storage. I can pull it out and get to my stuff. This has also got a lighted cabinet here so I can light up this area. There's even a picnic table built in. It's stored right there. One thing you'll see on the Lance is very thick, heavy duty compartment doors. And that's great because obviously the compartment doors are places where you can get heat or moisture in or out. You see these nice deep foam gaskets and a slam latch lock. That's great. Now you can have dual batteries in a Lance. They go on each side of the trailer, one on this side, one on the other. Also this has a connection for a portable solar panel. Getting to be very popular to use portables rather than building them in and putting screws in your roof and making extra holes. And of course the nice thing about a portable is I can use it elsewhere. It's not just stuck in my trailer all the time. Now this one has an option. There's actually three five-gallon bottles under this. Most ultralights only have one or maybe two five-gallon bottles of propane. This one right here has three, so you have really an ample supply. We've got the, the power tongue jack. This is, a, this is a new kind of power tongue jack that remembers the hitch height setting, so you don't always have to be eyeballing it. You can just hit it, and it will, it will set itself up properly to back up and hitch. Another great thing about the Lance, we have the slide topper awning on this. This is a feature a lot of times people are buying and paying a lot of extra money to have. It keeps all of the debris off the top of your slide so when you bring it in, you don't have to worry about pine cones or tree branches being in the way when you bring that in. And here's another thing, again talking about storage. This is back in that big slide area underneath the booth dinette. You have the drawers that pull out in front and then you have this huge outside access area. Just great storage for a small trailer. If you take a look in the back here, you can see kind of what I was talking about. The gate valves for the waste systems are actually going up inside the enclosures. So the heat that is made in our furnace heats that whole enclosed area underneath. In fact, there's heat in each individual holding tank enclosure. You never have to worry about freezing, even on your exterior gate valves. Got an outside shower, and you've got a sewer flush here. This is a great feature, uh, worth its weight in gold to be able to clean out your tank after you dump it. 
uses a removable short cord so you can put the cord on and then put it away when you're done. That's an easy to use feature, it's very nice. Take a look at the ladder on a Lance. I mentioned that the roof is very strong. A lot of small trailers today don't have any kind of a ladder because they really don't want you on the roof. Some roofs are not intended to be walked on. This is strong enough for you to walk on and get up there and remove debris, check your seals, do all those kinds of things. And new now with Lance is that they have an arched roof. For years the Lance has had a flat top and you had to park it a little bit nose up to get water runoff when you were storing it. Now we've got a crowned roof and we could get water runoff without any kind of special maneuvers. It works great. That's a new feature. There's a lot more to talk to you about on this Lance in the terms of the way it's constructed. They're different. They make their own chassis. They have their own sidewall construction that's quite unique. All designed to make the trailer last, be reliable, and be attractive for a long, long time. This is a trailer you can buy and keep forever. I love them. This is the 1995. We have a lot of other choices available. If you'd like to know more about the Lance or see one in person, I'd love to help you. My name's Matt Elliott, and you can reach me at 541-954-8495. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.